Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to download application with a single file installer to add to your slipstreamed Windows 10 edition disk. So let's get started. The website that I actually use for this creates its own self-installer and it's called Ninite. That's www.ninite.com. It's a strange website. I actually found it by accident. But once you go here, you see this page in front of you. And what you actually do is you click next to a little tick box next to what you actually want to download. So Opera, for example. I always have Opera installed in my machines. But you can see you've got Chrome, Opera, Firefox for browsers. And because it's split by, by category, it's nice and easy to work out. Under utilities, I don't use Team Viewer, Image Burn, Will VNC, Terracopy, da, 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 da. I don't use any of them. Under messaging, Zoom, that never used to be on there. I do use Discord, so I can add that. I don't use Skype, Pigeon, Thunderbird, or Trillion. Under media, I don't use iTunes, but I do use VLC. Yep, Fubar is actually quite good. I've started using recently. It's a bit lightweight, a bit basic, but it's very good for what it does. I didn't even know when that was still a thing. Wow. Music B, Audacity. I like having Audacity installed. K Lite Codex, that's additional codex for playing media. That's sometimes nice to install. I'm not going to do it in this particular occasion though. I don't know what GOM is. Spotify, CCCP. No idea what that is. Media Monkey, I believe, is for, yeah, for organising your music and renaming it. I don't use that. And while I do use Handbrake, I don't use it in all of my systems, so... Under runtimes, you've got your Java, your .NET, Silverlight, and Air. Imogen, you've got Krikta, I've never heard of it. Blender, I don't use normal machines. Paint.NET, GIMP. GIMP's actually good if you're a content creator. I don't really use any of them, but again, that's personal preference. Back to your documents, this is like your Office apps. I don't use any of them. Developer tools, I do use Notepad++. Your Java development kits. I used to use Putty, but that's now built into PowerShell, so I don't actually use that anymore. Eclipse Visual Studio Code. That could be a useful one, again, for developers. Security Essential, Malware Bytes. So Malware Bytes is maybe a good one to have. I won't install it just now. I'll install that separately because not all of my boxes actually do day-to-day -day tasks that would require malware actually running on them. Most of them aren't actually internet-connected. Avast, AVG, SpyBot. Again, th th this is personal preference. Everybody's got each to their own for these. File sharing, Qubit Torrent. Interesting that's the only one they've got under there, but not one I'm intending on installing. Evernote, Google Earth, Steam. It's possibly worth installing Steam on there. KeyPass, if you get multiple passwords, that might be something I'm looking at in the future at the moment. Online storage, you've got Dropbox, Google Backup and Sync, OneDrive. OneDrive's pretty much part of the course anymore. Sugar Sync. For compression, I usually use 7-zip. PZip I've never heard of, and occasionally WinRAR. Now, WinRAR is obviously shareware, so I'm not installing that just now. So I've selected the applications that I want, and I click Get Your Nine-Eight, I presume is how it's pronounced. As you see, it gives me a Nine-Eight Audacity Discord Notepad installer. So I click Save. And as if I've got the folder, you can see that's already there. And that will now, if I double-click it, install all those applications. I'm not going to do that just now. You can see me do that in a later part of this tutorial when I enable Audit Mode in Windows 10. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.